Why, hello, uh, this it's Linda and Siobhan, Megan, the Livy team here, and we're here today with our tech expert um, and our first part of our series on uh, people that are giving solutions for do-it-yourself landlords. So we feel so blessed to have uh, Lucas Hall here today uh, from Cozy and from Landlordology. So I'm going to let you uh, expand on that part a little bit, uh, Lucas, and introduce yourself. Hi, Linda. Thanks for having me. Um, and I'm very grateful to be on the show. Uh, this is very exciting. And, and Cozy uh, is a, a fantastic product that I actually use myself. And so I'd love to tell you a little bit about that. Um, Cozy started out back in 2014 uh, and uh, doing simply rent collection, online rent collection. And it was the biggest need and probably the biggest pain point that uh, we had seen uh, landlords needing. And so uh, being a landlord myself, that's where I started too. When I when I was looking for something to help me be a landlord, the first thing I was looking for was something to help me collect rent because that was uh, arguably the most important transaction and the most important thing that happens every month as a landlord. And so uh, Cozy started there and we quickly grew, uh, but now we offer a lot more. And so Cozy is actually something that you can use as a landlord from start to finish, um, from soup to nuts, and you can use that to manage everything that you need to do during the landlord or rental life cycle. For example, you can, um, you can post a listing with Cozy and, and create this beautiful web page that also has an online application link that you can share uh, on any platform. And so you can just uh, post it to wherever you normally want to post it or, or share it with whoever you normally want to share it with, online, social media, wherever. And then as you start to find people interested, you can um, you know, schedule your tours and then you can have them actually use that application link to apply. And then... In that application link, which, which is a free process, that application is completely free and online, then uh, you can actually require credit reports and background checks uh, through that application. And uh, you can do it later if you want, or you can do it at the time of the application. And those uh, credit reports and background checks are full credit reports, full background checks with a credit score, eviction records, identity verification, um, criminal, county, national records, and uh, Hey, go ahead. I see you have a question. <laughs> I will. I just want to point this out because like, uh, I'm going to say if the audience is like myself and have been around a long time, that's like a super big evolution. And I, I, I just want to point it out because that's really important. So at one time, if I'm grasping, and it was certainly my understanding, Cozy was, like you said, a solution for people that wanted to ACH payments. And now you're saying, I'll go ahead and help you guys with the application process, with advertising the unit, and taking the application and screening. And I just want to kind of highlight that to the audience, because that truly is a big change. And that makes you certainly, uh, I'll call it full service on the front end, right? So now we're going to start out, we're going to get you the tenant, help you get the tenant, we're going to help you screen the tenant, and we're going to have them all ready in the software and ready to go for payments. Exactly. Am I right? Okay. You're exactly right. And you know what? It makes it super easy. If you've already screened somebody and Cozy has screened a, a potential applicant and they already have that, uh, that access to the system or that account, it makes it incredibly easy to get them set up on rent, rent collection and rent payments. So, uh, so once you find somebody that you like, and, and these credit reports are beautiful. They're, they're, um, they're one of the prettiest ones I've ever seen because they, they're <laughs> easy to read. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, you know, I, I've, you probably use almost every screening uh, report company out there uh, when I was a landlord looking for my own uh, tools and, and I constantly kind of keep up on it just as, as part of my job and most of them you know look like a fax machine kind of spit it out from 1978 right they're hard to read they, they're yeah. they look like they should come on pieces of paper that have the little like holes on the sides <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Come on. laughs> right, right. <laughs> and, and just doesn't need to be that way. And so we designed something that was very, very pretty, very easy to understand, and actually has some data in it that most credit reports don't. For example, uh, my favorite part of the credit report is actually one that um, it has a little section in there that says, like, show me the type of debt. So it, it not only tells you how much debt somebody has, but it shows you how is that okay. debt split up. So is it, is it by, um, like, credit card? Is it by auto loan payment, mortgage payment, HELOC, um, personal loan? Medical. Okay. Yeah, any medical, student loan, all those things, because that, that's really important as a landlord. I think a lot of times, if you don't know, you kind of skim over it and you think, well, why does that matter? But realistically, like as a landlord, I need to know if somebody has 
you know, all medical debt. Maybe they have like three hundred thousand dollars in debt, but it's all mortgage or medical debt. Like that's okay to me. You know, I, like I wouldn't mind renting to a tenant who has that much medical or or uh, mortgage debt. But if they have like thirty or forty thousand dollars in a Gap Store credit card, like that's <laughs> that's a big no no. That that's a huge red flag because that shows me that they're not being very financially responsible. Like who buys forty thousand dollars of the Gap, right? I mean, <laughs> I like the Gap, but it's not. <laughs> I'm not going to put it on a credit card. And um, but that shows that you know, like even though it's only forty thousand dollars versus three hundred, like that that's a huge difference on the quality of tenant. So uh, that helps me figure that out. And I haven't seen that on a lot of other credit report uh, options. So anyway. Is that, is that an in-house credit report that you guys are compiling by using, I'll call it the big three or one of the three? We do uh, partner with Experian. So we okay. actually, uh, about four years ago, three and a half years ago, we partnered with them and, and spent about nine months helping them to build what they call Experian Connect which is the, their API software that they use, um, mm -hmm. you know, around the country. So uh, we actually were their flagship partner for that and helped them uh, craft oh. that. And, uh, and now we use that ourselves. So we basically help build the tool that we use, uh, which is kind of cool. So um, yeah, that's what we use Experian. And not only, uh, and then here's a little add on, not only does, do we allow you to pull that full credit report, but we do the identity verification so that, you know that by the time that you're collecting rent from somebody, you know that that person actually is the person that they're saying. And it's not their grandma, it's not their, their spouse, that, and they're doing it for them. Um, we actually help with that. You just hit on another key area where I'm inquisitive, uh, the identity ver uh, verification, because as we know, everything is so, you know, through the computer, yeah. everything is through your cell phone. How, how are you guys handling that? Like, so driver's license, like what are you doing to... Sure. So we actually do that in partnership with Experian. So when okay. somebody you know, gets a credit report, we ask them a series of questions that, uh, that only they would know, or only someone who's authorized to help them would know. Uh, like, okay. like, what was your car payment in 1998 on your Honda Accord? You know, or, or what was your, uh, what's your student loan payment every month? <laughs> You know, and so those types of questions are, are uh, pretty unique and they actually come from the big Experian database and it's based on your credit and your loans. And so it, unless you're actually that person, it's going to be a hard, you're going to have a hard time answering those. Um, That's so, perfect. So, yeah. so we've got, so you've got us um, through the Experian. That's a really good, um, great business model that you got us through that. And now the payments and what else are you doing? You said with the software to help the small landlord. Sure. So once you find uh, a tenant that you like and you've screened them with background checks and credit reports, then you can roll them right into the rent payments, like you said. And um, that's where I started. So that's the first tool I was looking for. That's what I, that's what I really wanted something to help me with. And um, with Cozy, uh, you can collect rent from, from tenants uh, via any device. So they can use their phone, their tablet, they can use their computer. Uh, it's, all, it's all mobile friendly, all, all accessible. And then they can pay rent through what you call ACH, which is really just bank to bank transfer. And uh, that is completely free for both tenants and landlords. So we, we process close to a billion and a half dollars every year uh, through landlords and tenants. And we help them collect rent nationwide. So we're in every major city, every mid size or little city. Uh, we're in every area, every state in Puerto Rico. And um, tenants even can pay with a credit card or debit card, uh, which is interesting because a lot of times they want to collect the points or they want the cash back or they want uh, just to delay it for a little bit, which is, you know, not so great <laughs> if you're going <laughs> to credit. But, but we actually find that like over 95% of all payments happen through ACH. And then the ones that happen through credit cards or debit cards, uh, well, debit cards are straight out of their checking account, but credit cards, it's, it's typically for points or something they're trying to get rewards which is great. Um, and that credit card does cost two and a half or 2.75% fee, uh, that the tenant would pay. So it's still free for the landlord, but if the tenant wants the convenience of using a fee, uh, a card, they're going to pay a small fee, which, uh, actually mostly goes to, to uh, Visa and MasterCard. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. I have a question along those lines sure. and maybe I should know this answer, but what happens with, um, the people that are on housing that are getting a card, I don't know if you run into that, where they're getting paid through a card. It's not housing, I'm using the wrong word, but there's on some yeah, kind of government. subsidy. Yeah. yeah, like their yeah. government benefits are coming. Can they use those? Or how does well, that work? It, um, if, it's, if it's a prepaid 
prepaid bank card. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it's got the little Visa or MasterCard or American Express, okay. logo, you know, if it's got the little logo on it and it's got cash on it somehow, then, then you're okay. they, they should be able to use it. it, it they're they're going to have to pay the fee, yeah. right. the credit card fee, but, but yeah, they can certainly use it. It's just like any other, any other card. Perfect. Which makes it handy. I know I, I've heard, um, I met with a bunch of people uh, who live on an Indian reservation and they actually get paid. Uh, they get paid through prepaid cards and it was it was kind of neat and they were hoping they could use that for to pay rent and I'm like yep you sure can it's you know yeah, so great. it's easy for them yeah that's a great sales feature I know we have lots of landlords that would ask about that so that's good yeah um, so the rent collection is awesome I mean that that is certainly my favorite part and uh, as a landlord myself, I have uh, five properties in three states, and I have about 20 to 22 tenants at any given time, and I've got them all set up on Cozy, and they love it. I mean, honestly, like, it is a, uh, just the rent collection alone is like a benefit or an amenity, I, sh I should say. Um, just to give you some perspective, I actually, uh, when, I, when I do the showings with somebody or when I'm meeting with them and they're considering renting my place, I, uh, I do mention that. And so I say, Hey, listen, you know, if you rent my place, you can pay your rent online, just like you do every other bill. <laughs> you yeah. know, and, and right. you should see their grin. I mean, they start smiling like ear to ear because they realize like, Oh wow, I can, I can finally get rid of my checkbook. Like, right. you right. know, I mean, most people, I, you know, most people, the only reason they have a checkbook nowadays is to pay rent and that's For the it. Rent. Yeah. 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 We, we've both certainly seen the evolution of that. Yeah. Right. So that, that's an amenity. And I actually think that some people will consider my place um, better than the house down the street, simply because I have a modern tool and I can let them pay rent online. So they, they like that and they'll actually use that as a deciding factor a lot of times. Um, but once, you know, once you get somebody set up with rent uh, payments, it, it can be, and we do actually push the tenant to make it recurring and automatic. So that is a key feature in Cozy. So we uh, we encourage them, entice them. We really want to make it uh, an automatic payment, and so they, they don't have to set it up that way. But we do really walk them through the process, and uh, most of them do. Most of them say, "Okay, great, I'll just set it up, so I don't have to worry about it. I'll just like set it and forget it," and and it works really well. And as a result, uh, you know, I've been using it for almost uh, three years now, and in two and a half of those years, uh, most recently, I have not had a single late payment. Uh, the from any of my tenants for two and a half years I've got 20 we'll say 20 tenants right now and uh, that's unbelievable I mean before when I was using even a different online tool it is unbelievable it is it is I know, you just, I know. Uh, let me tell you you're doing some good screening I just want to I just want to point out that I'm gonna I'm gonna directly relate that to your screening tool I'm gonna get a bonus points on the screening tool well, you're, you're not totally wrong. <laughs> so, so I do believe that uh, really good, perfect, you know, flawless rent collection starts with screening. So if you, if you pick the right candidates, you're not going to have a problem. Uh, but I do think that setting up automatic recurring yeah. bank, you know, bank transfers uh, certainly helps because then you eliminate the human factor of, of yes. Yeah. I, we agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah but screening is key. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, could set, I could set up all my rent payments, and if I pick the wrong person, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, well, I was just going to say, I, and I'm sure you can tell a story just like this, but I would say that we've had landlords come to us that say, like, I need them all on automatic, and, and they don't even have checkbooks. You know, like these are um, areas with no, you know, they're non banking people. Like, I want to solve your problems. I want to be able, if they want to tell the story you just did, but first they have to have checkbooks yeah. and income and, yeah. all, and all the things that go with the checkbook that make that work. Right, exactly. <laughs> you can't set up ACH if they don't have a bank account. <laughs> right. And I'm not, I wish I was kidding you, but it's a true story. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> no, it's totally right. Um, yeah, and that's actually the, that's the exact conversation I had with the, the folks from the Indian reservation because they were like, we don't have, we don't have bank accounts. We just have prepaid Visa cards. And I was yeah. like, well, that, that'll That's work. Good. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, there's even a way for uh, landlords to accept cash, oddly enough. So I don't recommend accepting cash, but if you did accept some sort of offline payment like cash or a personal check or a certified check or something like that, 
then you can record that in Cozy. So you can just document that as saying like, I received, you know, a thousand dollars from Jimmy and it was on this date. And that way it'll go towards the whole balance of the ledger and all the other roommates can see that. Um, so it, it's, uh, it's a nice tool. It's not as flawless as online right collection, but it works. Um, the other aspect there is that if you do have roommates, which we've, uh, we looked, you know, through all of our customers and the majority, the vast majority of our actual, um, leases that get set up in cozy do have roommate situations, whether they're spouses, whether they're actually just roommates and not related, didn't really matter. But, uh, but what's nice about it is they can actually all contribute towards the total balance. And so if the rents a thousand dollars and they just want to pay 500 and there's two of them, uh, they can do that in Cozy. They can easily set that up. They can make their own payment be $500 every month. And then they get to see what's happening uh, on the ledger at any given moment. So when they do that, um, they can kind of keep each other accountable, which is the nice aspect. So if, if like, let's say there's four roommates, three of them have paid and one of them hasn't. And it's like the first of the month, they tend to like get on each other about it. And I'm assuming this is self-serve on the landlord's end too. So they're able to monitor this as well. And they're able to see two out of three, I'll say yep. um, tenants paid. And yeah. Right. We make it fully transparent. Everything that the landlord sees is exactly what the, the tenant sees from a payment aspect. So uh, we want everybody to see everything so that they can keep each other accountable and everyone knows what's going on. It, you know, when I was a landlord uh, before online payments, I, I would often get questions from roommates being like, hey, has, has so-and-so paid? Or like, how short are we? Like, what do we need left? Or is there a fee? You know, but now it's just all online. They can all see. And, and even if they're late, let's say, if somebody is late and it goes past the grace period, you can set that up in Cozy so that Cozy just adds on a late fee. Like, it's super yeah. simple. And what I love about it is uh, if... <laughs> If, if it does get att attached to the lease and there is a late fee and then they come complaining to me and they say, well, why do you do that? I can just say, well, hey, listen, it's just part of the lease. I just like, it's the system that did it. Like I right. just set it up and it just automatically gets triggered. That's the rule. Right. And uh, if I feel like waiving it, I can go and I can delete it. Like it's that easy, but uh, it doesn't make me the bad guy anymore. It makes the system the bad guy. And they tend to be a little more understanding when it's a robot assigning a you know. I, and I, I would say I, I so agree with that. And for all the, I'll call it listeners, that I think that's an important concept because when people are starting out, they do have a level of uncomfort with charging those things. Right. But yet the consumer has a level of comfort with computer systems adding that stuff, no matter what, you know, whether it's the electric or their stu student loan. Like you said, they're used to that. So it's almost a matter of training the landlord to understand they need to do that. You know, right. just let, let it be a system feature. Exactly. And, and that's our entire purpose. I mean, honestly, Cozy was built and designed for independent landlords with anywhere from one to 20 units. And uh, we built it that way because those, those landlords, which are me, you know, we, mm -hmm. we didn't have any tools like that that were easily accessible or inexpensive. And uh, we, we set it and we designed it so that you could just set it up and make your life easier. Like, mm -hmm. You know, I think my, my perfect idea of collecting rent, like what, what perfect rent collection looks like for me is when I get a, an email on my phone what, Sunday morning when I'm like sitting, uh, you know, in my pajamas on my couch <laughs> and I get this email that's like, congratulations, rent is being deposited. Like that is rent collection for me. Like that's, yeah. what, I, that's what I want. I don't want to have to chase it down. I don't want to have to go door to door. I don't want to have to like deal with bounce checks or even checks in the mail like that. That's all what we used to do 20 or 30 years ago. And we, there's no reason for it now. Right. How about legal notices? Do they then go ahead and prepare their legal notices independently? Is that anything you're thinking of getting into? We, we will. Yeah. So uh, we don't do quite everything you might need to do, but hopefully if you're picking good tenants and you're using the right tools to do that, you don't have to deal with evictions. And, you know, um, a lot of times legal notices now, and, and again, this is not, legal advice but legal notices can often be handled through email even a lot of a lot of uh, court systems are accepting that if you can oh, that's acknowledge that somebody is in fact the person receiving that email you know if you can verify that they, they've received the email there before sometimes that's okay so yeah i mean through uh 
we're trying to get away from paper is, is what I'm trying to say. We don't really want to send out mailed physical certified letters. Like we want to deal with things electronically. Yeah. 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 Well, that, that would be my question. Cause that's really good to hear. Cause I wasn't sure if we had any courts. I just said that recently somewhere where somebody was asking me questions. I said, I, to me, the barrier is once we can get the courts to validate, they'll accept it in court. Um, because, you know, through your docu signs and everything else, you can prove that they've received right. it. Right. So it's like, it's just once a matter of when the courts will accept it. And, right. you know, yeah, so and that's email, great. email technology now is getting uh, really good. I mean, it's been around forever, but, you know, it's really good in the fact that with the right tools, you can actually uh show that someone received it and you can actually yeah. show when they opened it yeah. you yeah. know so if you can prove that um then you basically have proof right i mean mm -hmm. that's not going to say that every judge is going to accept that but, right. but i have heard of situations where the judge is like well that's good enough you know yeah. so um that's chicago, that's texas. <laughs> not chicago <laughs> they didn't right. here. but but there are you know more right. more of your um what, what's the word i'm looking for landlord friendly state. right that's right. great to hear. Because if it just at least moves that direction, it will help everybody. Yeah. I mean, if they're buying and selling, you know, big office buildings with right. signatures, you would hope we can get there. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so, you know, Cozy mainly helps. I mean, we, we most of our product is ten tenant screening and rent collection, but it actually doesn't really stop there. For landlords, we, um, we also let them do maintenance tracking, which is something okay. they can do. Yep, they can handle that with their tenants too, and they can create a like a discussion thread, and their tenants can actually submit maintenance requests. It, it's uh, pretty easy, actually. The tenant can just open up their phone, take a picture of the issue, whether that's a leaky sink or maybe you know water on the ceiling or something, and then just submit that. And what happens is everybody on the lease, including the rest of the other tenants, uh, can also see that too, and then they can all talk about it in a discussion thread. And then the landlord can decide what to do and communicate about repairs and when somebody's coming over and all that. And it's all documented in the system so that they have a, a written record, which is pretty important. Yeah, um, very important. That's great. Okay, so yeah. is there any other current features right. that our landlord should know about? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, one of my favorites is actually expense tracking. So every year, uh, independent landlords, you know, they typically don't file, uh, you know, uh, corporation tax uh, returns. Uh, most independent landlords file just their normal 1040s. And in that 1040 form, there's a Schedule E, which is handling real estate. And so that's usually how most of our customers and most small landlords across the country deal with their income and their expenses for rent. And uh, in that, there's you know about, I want to say 12 or 13 categories that the IRS says that these are proper expenses, you know, everyday expenses for your property and what we do is we have the system it's awesome where you, you you know using your phone your tablet like you can go to home depot you can buy whatever you need and then you can go out to your car and you can just take a picture of the receipt and document you know, the price the location um what it's for and the, the category so you could say this is for supplies for you know my main street property and then that gets documented and cozy. And in fact, you can take that receipt, crumple it up and throw it away or recycle right. it. <laughs> and then <laughs> you can get yeah, rid of it because true. that picture is stored in cozy. So right. uh, at the end of the year, when it's time to do your taxes, you just do a simple uh, report, like do a run a simple report in cozy and we'll give you a beautiful uh, PDF document with the summary of every category per property so that you can literally just copy that one number over into the proper space that you need to on your schedule E. So, it, uh, whether you do your taxes yourself or you have a, an accountant do it for you, like you can just hand them that paper and they will thank you. They will like, they will, <laughs> you just made their life easier. So, um, I'm a, I'm a bit of a spreadsheet nerd. Uh, yep. They know this is coming. Can I download that nerd. in CSV? Yeah. Yeah. You sure can. So you can download okay. it and then, you know, it's in CSV. You can take it to Excel. You can do all kinds of pivot tables on it. You can. <laughs> exactly. Wow. How'd you know wow. that? Sounds like her weekend. <laughs> 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 there you go. That was good. Um, you can even. Any peak, any peak uh, features of what's in their future? What are you hoping to, what do you see in the future for these landlords? Yeah, you know, uh, we're one of our biggest, our two biggest gaps actually that we have in our product are, uh, one is once somebody finds a tenant and screens a tenant and wants to rent to them, 
uh, the next step that we have is rent collection, but in reality, that's not the next step in the system. Like in the in the real world, the mm-hmm. next step is actually let's sign a lease and then right. we'll get set up with rent collection. Uh-huh. So uh, we're in the process of building a online digital lease signing tool. So that's great. Uh, so somebody can you can already upload your documents and share those with your tenants, but you can't sign them. They already have to be signed already. So now you can just upload a blank lease or blank move-in inspection or whatever you want and you'll be able to sign, sign with it. So we're looking to um, release that this year. And then uh, we're also looking to make that free as well. So uh, it, wow. we want the product to truly be free for landlords and truly be something they can, they can grow with, right? Um, we've had lots of landlords, actually it feels like it happens every week almost, where somebody writes us and they're, they're saying like, like, thank you so much for building this because yeah. Because I finally, like, I always wanted to get into real estate, but I never could figure out how to do it. And now that I know how to manage the properties, once I get them, I feel more confident to buy them. And so uh, we have one person, uh, her name's Laura. She actually writes uh, for Landlordology, which is our free content education website. It'll, it'll teach you how to be landlords. And she's our, she's our head editor. And she's amazing. She's been uh, doing that for a couple of years with us. And she started using Cozy. She had one property when she started. And now she's not only writing about landlording, but she's using Cozy and now she's got five. So, oh, okay. yeah. And it was just because we gave her the, the permission and we gave her the, the tools to succeed, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. So do you think you'll go from there? Pretty much keep blowing it out a feature at a time? Yeah. You know, I think once we build out that full uh, life cycle for for landlords and fill in all the gaps, I think the the next big focus is to polish up the tenant aspect of that. So uh, we actually have what we call a renter profile and that's where a, a tenant can create a profile. They can fill it out. It's basically, you know, a, an online rental application, but only they can see it. And kind of imagine it as a, um, a LinkedIn profile, but for mm-hmm. renters. And, and then they can share that. They can send that and give that to to landlords and so once they do they can also attach their their documented rental history wow. so if they've already paid rent through cozy like we actually process that payment so we know for a fact whether or not it cleared or not right we right. know whether it succeeded and if, if it was late we know these things so imagine if you were a landlord and you received the applicant who was like here's my here's my renter profile and uh, by the way it has like two years of actual payment history that shows that it's always been on time you know that that's amazing yeah that <laughs> you know? is amazing that's that, that's some great stuff i like that i like the comparison to the linkedin profile too yeah and you take I it with you and you have it as long as you you're a renter so um and then if well, you i think you sold home. megan and siobhan they were taking notes like crazy <laughs> they're ready to sign up well i we use it for a client and i didn't know that it did all of that so I, yeah i'm excited to go look at it sure well, that's awesome. Thanks for using it. <laughs> yeah, and we're, and we're so we thank you for being, uh, you know, for coming on for this interview. I hope you know we'll get the word out there. I hope you'll share it as well. Sure. I hope everybody that watches this, you know, at least takes a look at the cozy product. I think it's a great idea for the small landlord. You know, it's really a good solution. Great. Well, if anybody is listening and wants to contact me, they can reach me at lucas at cozy.co. And, and the website for Cozy is cozy.co. Yeah, we kind of like that, cozy.co. Yeah. Uh, the lady said, it's just cozy. I'm like, you know, this kind of has got a ring to it, cozy.co. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else you can think of? Um, what was the second gap? You said you had two. Oh. Right. You're right. Thanks for catching that. So uh, we call it listings discovery. And what that means is, is, uh, you know, while we do allow you to, as a landlord, we do let you create a listing and we do syndicate it to other platforms. We actually don't have a map on cozy where some, where a renter can like search for listings. And and so what we're actually doing by, you know, we, we've never needed to. In fact, the reason we never did before was we gave out a link to the landlord where they can share that link anywhere. So mm-hmm. we, we weren't really trying to beat Zillow with their own game, like Zillow and Trulia and, and Craigslist, they do all that really well. So let's focus on the other stuff and we'll just let give you a link to where you can share it on those sites. And uh, what we're doing now is we, we're getting to the volume and getting to the, uh, you know, the size where our, our tenants are saying like, hey, I really like using Cozy and my mm-hmm. lease is ending next month. I would really like to be able to look through other landlords who use Cozy. 
And um, I actually had a tenant once, uh, this was about two years ago, they were leaving my property and they loved using Cozy so bad and they actually pulled me aside and said, I really want to stay in this neighborhood. Do you, do you know any other landlords in this neighborhood who use Cozy because I don't want to stop? And so that was a way for them to find a place. They wanted that. So we're going to build it. We're going to make it easy for people to find other Cozy landlords. And, um, and I think it will also help with just getting more applicants and getting more screening. So, yeah, you know, right. you know, fill in that gap will truly, co you know, complete that cycle and make it. Yeah, easy. that will complete it together, especially with your reports. So that kind of you're passing off good tenants, if you will, people right. that are proud of their human history. Right, yeah. exactly. And it, it tends to then create uh, kind of an ecosystem of people mm -hmm. who love using the product. It, it, almost like Airbnb where, you know, if you're a landlord on Airbnb or you're a tenant on Airbnb, you, you typically tend to stay that way because you've built up the reviews, you've built up the yeah. history, you know, the, the positive affirmation there. So it, it'll create that sense of belonging and you'll just continue to use it over and over again. So um, that's one way we can serve our customers a lot better. And I think that's what they're asking for. Sure. Yeah, well, thank you so much for yeah. your time today. We really appreciate it, Lucas. And if you want to give out your name, your number again, or however, your contact information. Sure. Yeah, uh, my name's Lucas Hall uh, with Cozy. So C-O-Z-Y is, uh, C-O-Z-Y dot C-O is the URL. My email is lucas at cozy dot co. And, and again, Cozy is completely free for landlords. So it's something that we've, we've prided ourselves on building that way. And, and, um, and it's likely going to stay that way for a very long time. All right, thank you. I'm going to stop the recording now. Thank you.